So in this video, we're going to take a look at a 2019 Stanford math tournament problem in which we have the sum of two real numbers and the sum of their fourth powers, and we want to solve for their product. But before we go on, consider subscribing and ring the bell to not miss my latest videos and hit the like button if you find this video helpful. So we have x plus y and x to the fourth plus y to the fourth. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use the first equation in a way that I will be able to use the second one. In other words, I'm going to square the first equation twice to get x to the fourth plus y to the fourth in my equation. So x plus y equals 2. Therefore, if I square both sides, I will have x squared plus y squared plus 2xy equals 4. Now, I need to square this again to get x to the fourth plus y to the fourth. But before that, let's uh, move this to the right hand side. So we have x squared plus y squared equals 4 minus 2xy. And then now uh, let's square both sides to get x to the fourth plus y to the fourth plus 2x squared y squared equals 16 minus uh, 16x squared y squared. And then plus actually this is this is going to be uh, 16 x times y and then plus 4 times x squared y squared now we know that x to the fourth plus y to the fourth is 1234 so this is one two three four so our equation is 1234 plus 2x squared y squared equals 16 minus 16xy plus 4 times x squared y squared. Now, in our equation, everything is in terms of x times y because we have x times y itself, and it's a square, which is this, right? So, uh, and, and the great thing is that we want to solve for x times y. So, I'm going to replace x times y with something like u to get a really nice equation. So we will have 1, 2, 3, 4 plus 2u squared equals 16 minus 16u plus 4u squared. Then I need to put everything in the same side. So I will have 2u squared minus 16u and minus 1218 equals 0. So this is a nice quadratic equation, and we can use the quadratic formula for solving for u. But I prefer to factor this. And in order to do that, let's uh, multiply everything by 2 to get 2u all squared minus 16 times 2u minus 2436 equals 0. Now. If you factor this, our factors are going to be like 2u minus some number times 2u plus some number equals 0. So we want to find two numbers that add up to negative 16 and multiply to negative 2436. Notice that 2436 can be factored as 2 times, 2 times, 3 times, 7 times, 29. Now, if we check and guess a little bit, we will find out that this is 42, and this is going to be 58. And the difference of 58 and 42 is 16. So these two numbers are going to be the numbers we want. And since we have negative 16, 58 is going to be the negative one, and uh, 42 is going to be the positive one. Now we can solve for u, and we will have u equals 29 or u equals negative 21. But one of these two solutions is not valid. This is not valid, but this one is. And I will explain why this is the case. So we know that u is x times y. So let's say x plus y is 2. We know that. And x times y is 29. Now, if you square both sides, we will have x squared plus y squared plus 2xy equals 4. From this, I can say that x squared plus y squared equals 4 minus 2 times xy, which is 2 times uh, 29. Now, obviously, without doing any calculations, we can say that this is negative. 
but since x and y are real numbers this is totally positive so we have a contradiction therefore this is not valid u equals 29 is not valid but we'll not have the same problem with negative 21 so let's say x plus y equals 2 and x times y equals negative 21 then by squaring this we will have x squared plus y squared plus 2xy equals 4 from this I can say that x squared plus y squared equals 4 minus 2 times negative 21 now this is obviously something positive this is a positive quantity therefore we don't have any problem and negative 21 is a valid solution great we're done with this video thank you for watching this video leave a comment click like if you find this video helpful and subscribe for more hopefully i will see you later goodbye for now Thank you.